All right, welcome back to the Kitchen Conversations. Uh, today we're gonna focus on arms. And as many as you know, I like to do arms all in one day, meaning I like to do triceps, biceps, and everything that has to do with the arm all on the same day. This way I feel like I'm getting a better pump and I'm there for longer working on the same muscle. So that is my theory behind it. You don't have to follow it, but that's how I follow it. And that's how I've been doing it for the past few months. So you can take that as you wish, but I find it to be pretty good. And what we have here is we have the intro workout drink. Like I mentioned before, it's always good to stay hydrated while you're working out. No, Wendy, now. And the way I see it, you're pretty much feeding your muscles as they are getting torn during the workout. So if you're going hard enough, they're gonna require, uh, you know, they're gonna require to be fed. So that's what this comes in play. So how do you feel working out alone compared to working out with someone else? Do you feel like you focus more when you're by yourself? You don't really have someone else to worry about? If I am being completely honest, I focus a lot more when I'm by myself. Just because I don't have anyone to talk to, you know, besides you guys while I'm working out. Yeah. But um, yeah, I go in basically do my own stuff and then kind of go from there. I feel like when I go with somebody else, it's fun, don't get me wrong, it's not a, it's not a bad time, it's just. It's I also feel not like, really your personality. I feel like there's a lot of wasted time. So instead of going for an hour, you know, we end up being there for an hour and 15, an hour and 20, so it kind of depends. I mean, the times that I've gone with you, we've been, you know, pretty good about it, but you and also- And I also like to talk sometimes and yeah, you which is, in the zone. Yeah, which is, you know, kind of, yeah. The thing, you know, your personality's a little different. I am an introvert. Yes. In the gym. I, yes, I am an introvert head. in the gym. Yes. Yeah, you put on your headphones, you're like, tone everyone out. I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna talk to anybody when I'm at the gym. I, I go in there to do one thing and, I, and, I'm, and I'm going back out, that's it. I don't wanna go converse. So what are your best sessions? Like what do you like to work on most that you actually enjoy? That I enjoy? Uh, it, used to, it used to be arms. I used to really love arms. Now I like doing back because I don't know why. Uh, my hmm. back has developed really, really nice. So I like, you know, going heavier on back. So my favorite muscle right now is back. Okay. I like back. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, with that being said, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get this work. All right, guys, uh, we are good to go. So let's go uh, to the lab and get this workout in. It looks like uh, my boy Remy wants to come along. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, maybe not. Uh, all right. So, looks like we are in the lab. All right. Let's get this work. All right, guys. So, in this one, we're going to do a, a close grip bench press. This is really good for the tricep area. Um, Definitely go light on this if you haven't been doing this already due to the fact that you want to maintain the form and you also don't want to, you know, run the risk of potentially hurting yourselves. Gotta love the kids outside, right? Uh, so yeah, this is the first time we're working out with the doors open, so let's uh, kudos to that. With that being said, I'm gonna do 45 on each side, but when I first started doing this, I started with about 25 pounds, so just keep that in mind. No need to go heavy, no need to go crazy. Uh, this is more for just a tricep push. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. This exercise is are you getting the weight off you want to make sure you do it at an angle and then you drop the weight in the past I've done it the wrong way and basically it's, it's fell on top of me before so once you get the technique on how to push it back off um, away from your body when you're about to put it on the floor then you're good to go uh, so 
We'll rest it for about 90 seconds and then we'll tackle it again. chest primarily it focuses more on the tricep area remember you're basically pushing away from your body and that's what gives that extension so when you're at the top make sure you squeeze you bring it back down and then you squeeze that's what's gonna give you the definition on the tricep uh, and as you guys already know I like to do my triceps and biceps and everything arm related all in one day so we'll rest for about 90 seconds and we'll hop on to the third set Man, it feels good. Got the door open. I can't wait for summer to finally be here because it is super nice out. I would love to work out with the garage door open at all times. Let me uh, give you guys a little insight of how it looks outside over here. Looks pretty good. It's supposed to rain, especially down that way. Definitely gonna rain over there. But yeah, that's where we are, so. Let's go back to the other set. So let's get this set in. Remember, how you pull this up, when you're first initially about to put it on your body, that's most important. You don't want this thing to drop on you, especially if you carry a heavier weight. So just keep that in mind. That's why I recommend going light, at least for the first few times so you get the, you know, from in there with the phone. seconds more and then uh we'll go on and do the last rep on this side so so far so good all right uh this one i'm just gonna kind of go for max and i'm not gonna be gonna count i know the you know i've been going for 10 previously but at the end of the day last set or last rep should always be up to failure so as many as you could possibly do no need to count we're gonna go on the rack so let's get it all right so for this one we're gonna do a reverse cable push down and we're gonna do a single arm so you don't gotta go crazy heavy on this one because it is a little difficult to do a reverse uh, but the main thing that you want to get off of this basically I do is just once I bring it all the way down bring it a little bit past my body and just contract that way you get that formation that forms right there on the tricep and then bring it back. All right, 
with that being said, I'm gonna close the garage doors because it's Florida and down here after 7 p.m. We talked about mosquitoes left and right. So let's do that. All right, so let's uh, do the second set. Again, you wanna make sure you bring it down, pass your body a little bit and contract. the weight a little bit once you feel comfortable um, and you have the right form as far as your arm superseding your body a little bit if you can't pass it you know if you if you can't bring it past your body then I wouldn't recommend increasing weight just yet that means it's a little bit too heavy and your form is not, it's not right uh, so we got one more on this one and then uh, let's tackle something else All right, so for this one, I'm gonna add another five pounds, uh, nothing crazy. I just wanna get more contraction. Oh, I wanna feel it more once I pass the body. Just to see how many I can do um, with the correct form. Again, it is a little bit more difficult just because of the angle that you're bringing it. So it's not like you're pushing it down like this, because this is easy. But when you have to reverse your twist, uh, your wrist, that's when you start feeling it. Uh, let's see what's next. <sighs> All right, so for this one, we're gonna do skull crushers. Uh, this is pretty good for the tricep as well. Um, and it works really good because it's single arm, so it kind of forces you to keep the form in place and not drop the weight on your face. So uh, definitely go light if you need to. This is about 45 pounds. I'll probably up it up a little bit, but for now, this should be good. Whew, so uh, let's do it. and um, we'll go from there, but you wanna make sure that we bring it all the way down. Uh, once you pop it back up, you wanna definitely stretch or contract that muscle right there. Uh, outside of that, there's not much to it. Just make sure you don't drop the weight. Um, if you need help, somebody's following you in the beginning. If you, are, you know, decide to go a little heavy, you can do that. Or just start off light, to be honest. That's probably the best bet. But uh, all right, we okay. got three more of this. So wait about 90 seconds and jump right back into it. Uh, oof. That one hit. 
I must say, the good thing I do like about these little videos, I can't cheat. So if you see me struggling on the last few reps, you're gonna see it. Um, so I can't edit out the last few reps. So keeps me calm, that's for sure. So we'll rest about 90 seconds and then we'll finish off with, the, with this particular exercise. All right, let's get this one over with. Again, so far, we want to be working on, it's all triceps. No biceps just yet. hear anybody snoring same right there this little guy will knock out anywhere so if you guys hear that in the background just want to say that's the only weird noise popping out is him right there so don't blame me for any weird noises blame him right there all right all right so with that being said we're about to go to uh barbell curls let's get it now we're about to tackle barbell curls um I usually do 25 on each side. We're gonna do them closed as opposed to doing them wide. Um, so let's get it. We're using the easy part on this one. Oh. biceps so again notice how I'm doing the triceps and the biceps all in one video um, I feel like I get the, the best uh, overall arm work I want to do that so if that had anything to do with it but man it's making the way I move pretty awkward for sure I think it's one more let me just double check we got one two three yep we got just one more so let's bang it up let's go out with a bang on this one rocking back and forth so let's give it a shot we're gonna 
make sure you hold it up there once you're at the top for about a second or so. few more pounds on that. I think this one, we're gonna do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, okay, it's a lot of reps on that one. Sorry, a lot of sets. So, this is one of, one of eight? Oh my God. All right, so let's get it. All right, so I added an additional 25 pounds, so we're at a total of 75 pounds. Um, so we should definitely be getting a good pump out of this one. in this particular exercise. So I'm gonna write down the, on the whiteboard. I'll keep track of it. So whenever I do this again, I'll find myself um, either going up a little bit or staying at the same weight. I just wanna make sure I, I track it down. All right, so this is the third set. I'm gonna try to go for 12 again. And again, you just wanna contract. on that one the fact that I'm doing you know a higher weight um, for as many sets because I think we're doing like seven sets all together and that was the third one so if I can keep that going into the seventh set that for me that'll be a new um, personal record because um, I don't think I've ever kept track of that but I don't remember ever putting 75 on that I think I always did like 45s or 50s so, and it's usually for four sets. Now I'm doing seven sets. So, uh, yeah, I like that. On to the next. All right, so this is gonna be the fourth one. Or fifth, I, I lost track now, but let's just say it's the fourth one. add more if I wanted to. Alright, so uh, let's go with a bang on these two. Still the same weight, 75. Uh, I'm probably going to increase on the last one, just to see if I can actually do the same amount of uh, reps. But this is number six, I believe, and we're doing seven. all together so we'll see where we go with that let me do that now and again the fact that I'm doing it for seven is what actually matters because seven, eight, you know 85 pounds is not really heavy if you're doing one or two sets but when you're doing seven over the course of that that you know those reps they definitely add up five pounds ten pounds over those course it's no joke so 
All right, let's get the last one in. We'll try to get 10 or 12, whichever one, and we'll, we'll move forward. One more. Whew. I definitely feel it. Ah. Wow. Those 10 pounds definitely added a big difference. All right. On to the next. Looks like we're going to finish off with abs. Um, I like to do the decline. As you guys know, this is part of my go-to. Uh, I do want to incorporate more ab workouts uh, over by the grass, but for now, um, I do like my decline. I am not even gonna lie. You know, 10 to 15, take a 30 to 40 second rest, and uh, we're right back at it. Right, boy? What's up, boy? And I swear, this is the best dog. This is my best friend right here, man. You guys don't even understand. This relationship goes deep, man. This is my buddy. This is my A1 since day one. Remy, what's up, boy? Come on. He's the type of dog that I could just have anywhere and he won't leave my side, All right? It's my boy, it's my boy. French is an awesome dog, man. Awesome dog. Oh, look at that, looks like my hour's already up, but I'm not even done with the abs yet. So let's, uh, let's finish up. All right, let's get it. Oh man, this hamstring is no joke right now. Whew. Two more sets of that. And then we'll do some weighted ones, and then we should be good. Not for now, but I'm kind of glad, you know, Sam Sulek is kind of doing what he did with the whole YouTube stuff. Because if you guys can see the age of this channel, this channel is nine years old, right? I think I posted once when I first started the channel. But it was so long ago that it was kind of awkward to have a camcorder inside the gym. So I kind of killed it right there. Um, so I never pursued the channel. And then all of a sudden, a few months ago, I decided, hey, I already have this name. I already have the channel. Let me bring it back up. And yeah, I'm glad I did because it's holding me accountable. I've had the gym, the home gym for a little bit. And I decided, hey, I don't have to take my camcorder anywhere. So I might as well just try it now. But also I'm glad that I'm able to, to take it to a gym nowadays if I really wanted to, which I'm probably gonna do for leg days. So, but uh, man, how times have changed. Only if I would've kept that channel from nine years ago, who knows where it would've been now. But again, different times, I couldn't really bring the camera to a commercial gym. And I didn't have my own gym, so uh, it is what it is. We're here now, we're here to stay, we're working out, we're getting gains, so uh, let's keep it going. Come <laughs> on. 
All right, so now we're gonna do uh, some weighted ones. We should be uh, good to go. Then we should call it a wrap after that. Thanks.